there's something special about a good tie. It is the fabric woven from several pieces of varying shapes and sizes and crafted together by skilled hands. A finely finished tie is handmade to a form and shape that will eventually become worthy of being tied around a man's neck. A good coach does the same. He takes boys of varying shapes and sizes and talents and he crafts them together with skilled hands to assemble a team that is worthy of wearing the coveted jersey with T.R. Miller stitched across the back. Three hundred sixty two football Friday nights may seem like a lot until the game clock counts down to zero for the final time. Three hundred sixty two Friday nights equals almost a year's worth of time. But in reality, it spans twenty seven years. It represents a whole lot more than merely playing a game under those Friday night lights. I am certainly a bit more tattered today than I was on that humid August Friday night in 1989 when we took the field for the first time together. What I have seen over three decades of playbooks, game plans, and the resulting blood, sweat, and tears of the 2,000 young men he coached a man whose legacy will be measured by more than simply the number of wins he recorded. To be sure, over 362 Friday nights, I witnessed 293 wins, 69 playoff victories, and four state championships. I was there for his first win, and I think it was poetic justice that both his first and 300th wins came against the same team. You have to have the character, and you have to have the courage to be able to do it. So I'm telling you right now, we're about to play the most courageous game T.R. Miller's ever played. Yeah, I'll tell you what you need to do with You need to play the balls of T.R. Miller Tigers that died to be fighting down. They played their guts out, played with courage, and they just couldn't do it. Yeah. I have absorbed both the joy of Gatorade bats after championship wins, and the pain of tear-stained losses when a team fell short of its goal. I was there in the few still moments he took alone in his office to gather his thoughts and say a quiet prayer for his players before each game. I was there for those frenetic post-game victory celebrations in the locker room with the boys he loved to coach. In that raspy voice, he would lead them in singing through bitter losses and the heartbreak of a season's end, he always always let them know how much he loved them. I was there for all those moments, now locked in time in the memories of all those boys he made into men. Together, we have weathered storms, cold weather, and heartbreaking losses. Together, we have won big games when no one thought we could. Together, we won 305 football games. Together, we won championships. In the end, a tie doesn't truly make the man. His character and integrity do that. George Eliot once said, I desire no future that will break the ties of the past. I may be tattered and torn. I may be weathered and old. But after 362 Friday nights, after 27 years, I am the tie that will forever be linked to a memorable past. 
a past that is now the unforgotten legacy of Coach Jamie Riggs. I believe every lie that I ever told paid for every heart that I ever stole. I played my cards and I didn't fold. Well, it ain't that hard when you got so. Somewhere I heard that life is a test. I've been through the worst, still get my best. God made my mold different from the rest. Then he broke that mold so I know I'm blessed. Stand up now and face the sun. Won't hide my tail or turn and run. It's time to do what must be done. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man Yes I am, yes I am, yes I am I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man